Hello friends and fellow survivors, Skippy0330 on base day 1 here, Alpha 20, 7 days to die if you're new, quick explanation, day 1, spawned over there in the downtown in this pretty large city here, and we started this base with wood frames, day 1, we expand this base from day 1, we stay here, we take on the hordes, we store everything, all in this one base, and call this home for the entire season. So I tend to make large things on these playthroughs. So this base you're seeing here, guys, is only part of the structure. It's gonna be much, much larger than this, and I can't wait to get through this playthrough here, uh, going into Alpha 21. Anywho, last episode, we ended by doing a ton of quests for the trader. So we're gonna go and do the same thing here today. Uh, it is... Uh, we really shouldn't because it's day 18 and I think we need some more upgrading because we are coming up on day 21 horde. We're going to be seeing uh, some more dangerous zombies like, whoa, <laughs> let's not fall off of there. Last horde, we're able to handle this pretty damn well. Uh, I like to call this, guys. Oh, no, I'm overburdened still, too. Okay, no, nah, it's just... It's just a spides. Let's actually get into our base and take them on from inside. We were able to take on the horde very easily with this base here, utilizing electricity and being able to repair the electrical system uh, from down here and building it redundant. Eventually, we're going to have four sides that look like this uh, and they can come to any side of this base. That's why I like to call it a brute force base because they literally can come up and uh and slap on the base right so i have to repair the base keep the wall standing and eventually i'll have high level hordes and we're doing max alive as well on all four sides so we'll be going crazy trying to keep this standing and like i said this isn't going to be the only part of the base it's going to be much much larger so we have we'll have fallbacks right like if they get through up there i can jump on my ladder here get up here close the um Close the hatch, and I'm good up here. Now I can shoot down at them, and uh, fingers crossed they don't take out the build, and it's a structure because everything I have is on this one base. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get my inventory organized here. Uh, we do have one quest to do, but it's nighttime, so I think if I'm going to go out and uh, gather, or actually... I think we did spend some time getting some materials together here last episode. What am I thinking? We do. We have, or not last episode, but a few episodes ago. We have some cement kicking around. Uh, we have a decent amount of mix. And I think the only thing we're low on is wood. Yeah, we don't have a lot of wood. But we do have 370 wood frames. I don't think that's really going to cut it. Because what I'd like to do is get two sides open for this Horde Knight too. Make things uh, just as insane. Alright, I'm going to go down and take care of this uh, angry tourist over here. And get my... go out, I think. Yeah, we'll go out and get ourselves some wood. Holy crap. Oh. 
I am so glad I had that gun loaded. Wow. That was so close. Okay, well. It was a productive night at least. I almost just got ganked by a bunch of dogs. We got 2,712 wood. We have three eggs, some meat, and some bones and other stuff, which is really good. So I'll call that uh, successful. Now, I'm gonna start gathering more and more bones here as we go. Uh, wow, I destroyed a lot of this with bullets. Uh, I'm gonna get more bones now as we go because I'm gonna have to start making repair kits and also making glue. So we're gonna need these bones now more than ever and I would not mind starting farming sometime soonish now I, I don't even know if farming's really worth it until I've invested into that tree a little bit but it would be nice to have some basics around home and maybe cook soon in the future I, I think that would be cool use All right, home sweet home. So let's take a look here. I found a Melee Mods Bundle 01 in an airdrop that was actually right around the corner from home, which is uh, really damn cool. What did we get? Oh, nice. We got a weighted head mod and a serrated uh, blade mod. Uh, the Gravedigger mod, FYI. Oh, we also got one of those, apparently. Uh, fits into the pipe baton, so that increased my damage from 22 to 23.4. So, I mean, I may as well, and then I'll just switch it out into my iron... Oh, I already have one, so uh, what a win on there. Can I put... No, it's telling me I can, but I cannot. That would be silly, two weighted heads. <laughs> Actually, that would be pretty damn awesome. Maybe I should put that, then, into my steel pickaxe? Oh, look at that! Perfect. I, I love melee mods. And I do believe... There we go. Why not? If we have it, may as well use it, right? Let's go get the XP here for this zombie kill. You're interrupting me. Damn you. Oh, looks like there's a, another one coming in, too. Okay. Well, I'm going to uh, get some uh, supplies together here. And we're going to head out and start doing the clear area and retrieve supplies quest. Now, uh, actually, while I'm waiting for this guy, sometimes, guys, how I decide to do my edits is I will talk through the walkthrough sometimes. Sometimes they end up just being boring, so I uh, quick edit them. You know, I show you guys all the kill shots, any loot I might find that is good. Sometimes I find if it's just repetitive talking, what I'll do is just fast forward it and put a song over it, which uh, I actually purposely try to mix that stuff up a little bit for you guys, uh, the viewers. So, if, you know, if you guys are missing some of this stuff, when I'm doing a walkthrough, it's really because there is nothing to see anyway, right? So I think it's a little bit of a win-win instead of just making repetitive content, feeling I have to talk through everything. I could take it a little slower and uh, just decide to edit it afterwards if I don't like it. All right, guys, let's go ahead, get out to that POY. It's only 340 meters away. Here we are, guys. So this is actually a pretty decent clear. We can grab some supplies from here before we re or before we start the quest. Not too bad to grab things twice like that. Uh, anyway, I think it's a good idea in practice to uh, take vitamins anytime you're going to be having a big challenge because uh, infection, at least for me, is a big issue this time around. Uh, just did things in wrong sequence the first time, I guess. Uh, but now, I only have two vitamins left, and uh, I really need those. Those big wandering hordes that come after me, I think that is the best time to use those. And just in case in the POI, 
I do have some uh, a little bit of honey kicking around too, but as you can tell, uh, my supplies are quite low. We do have some antibiotics back home, but that is why I'm not uh, using vitamins when I'm clearing out a POI. Probably a good idea, maybe, if uh, like the tier four stuff, but still, this is only a tier three. Let me confirm that uh, before I say anything else here. Yes, it's a tier three fetch clear. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna take these out and get this thing started. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna grab that car too, I think. Uh, we're gonna run out of here with a whole bunch of supplies anyway. Okay, and that's that. This is kind of cool. They, I think they added this on this time around. Maybe that's why I was confused. This is actually a really easy tier three. I just uh, zoomed right through that, but we do have some damn decent loot at the end here. Uh, a reinforced chest, but I did go through a locked safe and it wasn't too bad getting through it with my steel pickaxe. So I'm hoping that's the same for this chest here. But let's take care of these boxes. What do we have? Oh, I was going to say stun baton is just a damn schematic for this stupid thing. So we have Tech Junkie Volume 7. Wow, this is perfect too because this is like the tree I'm going into. Uh, the advanced tweak to hydraulics increased the fire rate of robotic weapons by 10%. Doesn't really help me in my particular case, but I would like to get that whole collection complete. Okay, we got some uh, basic stuff here from that one. And this weapon bag is baton parts. Ooh, that's good. That's really, really good. I need those. Okay, and an ammo pile, of course. This is usually our most disappointing selection. Uh, I will take that 58 gunpowder, though. That stuff is a pain in the butt to make sometimes. Okay, let's go ahead and get this cracked open, and then we'll go and check out. It looks like the POI kind of continues on a little bit on the side. I wonder if there's a little bit of an Easter egg over there instead. Oh, wait. That's probably actually the way out. Okay, whatever. I'm going to break this thing open. That was not bad at all. I was actually able to get through that rather quickly. So now it's worth opening these things because as you can tell, I actually barely got anything from this container, which uh, really, really sucks. Anyway, looks like this will be easy to chop through here. I should be able to get rid of this block. Oh, that was a little premature. There we go. Get rid of this block and get over it. All right, what do we have? Oh, wow. There's a whole bunch of tunnels and stuff in here. Ooh, do I hear zombies? 
That possibly might not be a good thing. I just pressed a button too. I don't know what it does. Oh, it opened the door up there. That's so cool. Yeah, I believe actually this POY used to be a tunnel. They used to take and then you then you would have to dig out of there. Okay, we, we gotta go and check this out. I can't just I can't just leave this behind here. Let's whip right through this block. Oh, a steel a steel axe would be super right now too. Okay, there's nothing in here. Confirmed. Just a little room off to the side. Makes it look more authentic, right? Not every everything everywhere has to lead to something. All right, let's go ahead, get our butts out of here, and head right on back to the trader. Oh, and here we are. What is up, Trader Rex? All right, let's see what he has for us here as an award. Uh, we have the double barrel shotgun military leg armor or the metal spikes mod. Uh, each, each successive hit lowers enemy's armor rating by 20%. Can be installed in clubs. I wonder if that counts as a pipe baton mod. Uh, uh, but a level four double barrel shotgun is also nice. We do have a level one or the mod. Oh, that's such a hard decision. If we put another point, I think into, uh, our, our trader skills, we'd be able to choose two of these things. But, uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead with the metal spikes mod because we do use melee a lot more. And I, I do want to see if we can actually get that, uh, into... Our baton here where'd that go oh no it doesn't so it is specifically clubs only okay well now i know Ooh, we have a tier three clear zombies that's 75 meters away now i think i'm gonna grab that that's a uh, farm zero five and sell off the stuff in my inventory we we don't need here uh i did find a motor tool large tank mod which is really really nice Okay, so just looking through his stuff here, he does have some tempting things. He has uh, steel tool parts. I mean, it, it's only one. Uh, but he does also have a crucible in here, and we are still quite a few levels away from getting it. But it is also 12,000 coins, which we could use towards getting a motor vehicle because uh, I don't believe I'm anywhere close to unlocking that yet. We'd have to put some more points into grease monkey here and i really really want to get electric electrocutioner up oh i don't know guys I, I think it might be worth it worth it to start putting some points into like mini bike and stuff and you know not having to pedal my way around oh no these are decisions i was not prepared to make i was also saving to get to advanced engineer to make steel but if we only invest two points into mini bike, we could get ourselves around faster and without having to use energy. So that's what we're going to do here. One more level and we'll be able to at least make our mini bike instead of buying stuff from the trader. And uh, to negate that, what we're going to do is go ahead and uh, buy from the trader here. Oh, is there some stuff maybe I could sell from him? Oh, or, because that's a lot of coins, this may be worth it this time. We have uh, Sugar Butts, which give a 10% bartering. Hmm. Okay. Well, those, uh, those actually, I didn't even look at the price of those. I, I'm assuming they were a 100. So let's use that here. Go to Trader Rect. Let's see his inventory. Uh, we have... Whoa. Back up a little bit. The crucible is now 10,500 and we have the coin for it. So yeah, it was definitely worth it for something that expensive. A hundred percent. Cool. Uh, they also do have this chili dog recipe, which would be extremely useful. Uh, chili dogs are one of the best foods in the game. I think in my opinion, uh, there are really good foods, but that one's my favorite. Maybe not best, but it's my favorite. God, you're done so now. I may as well buy up the food out of here. They're usually pretty cheap. Okay, and let's head our butts home, actually, and put this crucible in our forge and start making steel. Uh, 
Ah, home sweet home. I have a whole bunch of stuff I forgot to sell the trader, but that is okay. Let's sprint up this ladder up here because I'm super excited and get our crucible into our forge. Oh, that is just super. We even have some iron forged in here so we can get this going right away. Oh, look at that forge steel up in the menu. We can now upgrade our base to steel, which is insane. We can make 82 of them. Awesome. Now we do need a total of 10 baton parts in order to make a new stun baton. I did pick up four this last run. How many do we have in total here? Eight. Oh, damn. We only need two more batons to be able to make ourselves the electric baton and rid ourselves of our pipe baton once and for all. Only two more damn parts. I should have checked the trader for those too. So I guess renovations here are the next thing we're going to do. So we have, oh yes, I forgot. We have a couple stacks of wood. We didn't really need to go out and actually collect it. A few of me, a few of me, <laughs> I hope there's no more me's out there. A few of you may have been yelling at the screen at me. And for that, I do apologize. That's my bad. Okay, so. This is where I think our base is going to be vulnerable vulnerable here for a little bit. So I'm going to pick up the existing frame inch uh, because I have to replace how far out this goes anyway. Let's grab all of this up. Uh, because when I put these down, I, I made them so that they were sharp around this corner. But we need to go one block out around this side. We're going to be redoing this one here. It's pretty exciting stuff. I can't wait to have uh, all four sides done. Now, while I'm breaking this uh, structure down, just want to chat with you guys a little bit here. Now, these episodes, because of the extra editing I'm doing, uh, I'm getting a bit faster, but it is taking up a lot of my time. And I'm, I'm trying to, I'm fi actually finding it hard putting out the regular seven episodes uh, I usually do a week. But I'm always down for uh, decreasing quantity and increasing quantity quality now i want to give you guys a big shout out first of all last episode i challenged you guys to use a like button comment and uh, we do a donation of 250 dollars out of my pocket to extra life uh, we are currently a day after that video has been released here not even a full day at 240 comments we're 10 short on that and 1164 likes so we're almost halfway there on the likes as well which is pretty damn awesome now if that continues well, what we'll do is we'll do a challenge video every once in a while and see if we can get those numbers up and i'll even donate more i think that would be a lot of fun and really benefit everyone it won't cost you anything to do it'll only cost me so guys once again Big shout out. Thank you guys for all of that interaction. It really actually did make a difference in the statistics. Now, back to what I was originally talking about. What I would like to do is five full episodes per week of Seven Days to Die. And in between those, I can play. I would love to be able to introduce other games to the channel. Like, I want to play uh, Project Zomboid. I loaded it up, played around a bit, and it looks like a great game. Uh, we'll get into that here in a little bit, but I would like to do other games on the channel, and I also need your guys' help to do that too, because that's one of the hardest things for a channel that gets kind of trapped into a certain niche, right? Because uh, a lot of people I know subscribe to me to see Seven Days of Die, and uh, they don't, really don't care to see anything else, and that I completely understand. Um, but YouTube is so incredibly cutthroat that if you release a video and your subs aren't immediately all over that, that certain video, it doesn't really get suggested too much to anyone else. So <laughs> that's how it is right now. So like I said, guys, big shout out to you for, for all the interaction you've been throwing on my videos. Uh, it's pretty damn amazing. So other games, guys. Like I said, I want to play uh, some more Project Zomboid. Maybe I should take some coffee. Yeah, we'll, we'll have some coffee here. Some Project Zomboid, I think that would be uh, fun to bring to the channel. I, it won't be in 4K. It'll be in the lower quality. That way I can edit it faster, uh, upload it, render it faster for you guys. Uh, now, this series here will remain to be the highest quality 
quality one. And once Darkness Falls comes out, we may split up the content a bit on Seven Days to Die. A little bit of this and a little bit of Darkness Falls when it comes to it. So I just want to swing that by you guys. Let me know down in the comments if there's any games or anything you guys would uh, really like to see. And I'll see what I can do to accommodate if it's uh, my style of play. Well, that's that. I got the foundation down here and a whole second side now. We are leaving ourselves exposed to a few zombies. I think they'd rather come over to this side and bang on uh, this cobblestone than they'd rather to cement. So we're going to get this up or outside here fully upgraded. We're going to cut out these blocks here, come back, and of course upgrade this frame to concrete. And then replace all of these X's in here with the same design we have on that side. Then we need to whip ourselves together some electronics and get that going too. I'm sure we actually need a few engines in order to do that, but we should be a-okay. Now on this side, it looks a little different than the other side over there. I expanded for the future so I wouldn't have to take this all out again. And put the frame shapes in where I'm going to have to remove them later on. So basically, next step is to do both sides at the same time, I think. Wow, that actually looks kind of cool. It's not very uh, efficient, but it looks really, really neat. And the other thing we need to do to get this all done here and ready for the Day 21 Horde is put the second um, roof around the top here. Because what this does is if they pile up way too high, it pushes them off and it also protects our electronics from getting cops spit on it or getting blown up because that's never a good thing. Oh no, I just pulled a big dumb and I upgraded these blocks here. Oh damn. <laughs> what have I done to myself here? These blocks need to be knocked out and turned into these pull blocks here so that we can reach from down below and upgrade these things. And me being all dumb, filled in these blocks. Actually, no. This level here needs to be this. And then this needs to be up on this level here what it's doing is holding this all up too for us so uh that was a very expensive mistake And boom, we have another side done. So they, they'll still be able to get through this, but not easily. We have to get the electronics in as soon as possible. I'm just taking a look around and hey, looking pretty good for damages on that side. So we don't really need to do any repairs. That makes me really happy. Now the next objective is to get this part all the way across. How much? So we only have uh, 249 concrete mix left. It's going to be a tough one, but I think we can make it. Oh, no, guys. Place knees down here, and we got ourselves some trouble. There is a bear over there, and a ton of zombies coming out. Whoops. Oh, no. Oh, my leg. Okay. Wow, guys. I was ignoring that debuff, but let's go ahead and use our vitamins and kick ourselves some butt while trying to stay away from that bear. That bear is meat, but that bear is not a good thing when you got... Oh, look at that. Oh no, the bear is going to attack the zombies. Well, hopefully we don't end up having to protect ourselves against that bear. This wandering horde is huge.
and that is that. So the zombies softened up the bear for me. And we also got a wolf over there. So this is a ton of bacon. Okay, and there we go. So we got everything, including the basic structure in for this thing, which is pretty damn awesome. Uh, now, we do have quite a bit of cobble left. So I think I can use that extra cobble for now to go ahead and start upgrading this pyramid here. Because this thing's just wood, and it really won't take an explosion from the cops very well, as you guys seen a few episodes back. Okay, guys, look at that. That took next to no time. I thought this episode was going to take forever here with all of the remodeling and rebuilding and all of that, you know, all that jazz. Okay, look at this, guys. Two sides done, and we have a nice, thick cobblestone foundation here. Of course, like I said, once we get a excess of concrete, I'm going to go back and concrete fill underneath here so it can take more and more explosions as the hordes go on. And I even did this side here where it was appropriate, and I don't have to uh, remove it. So I'm really happy with how this base is turning out. We need to keep pumping out supplies. Now, the next thing we need to get is more and more electronics. We need to get ourselves some engines. So I think our best option here is to actually head out and do some more quests and break down some more cars and stuff we see along the way. So I'm going to get my inventory all reorganized for going out and smashing heads. Oh, and a good morning it is. So my inventory is looking real good here. And this next quest, if I remember correctly, should be, oh, it's right beside the trader. It's a tier three farm. So we should be able to get well, actually a lot of food and stuff out of this one. I don't know why I got super excited about that, but I am. All right, guys, let's go and get this done. Oh, going to be starting at the cornfield this time, guys. I have a feeling there's going to be some birds involved and maybe some dogs. There's always dogs on the farm. Why wouldn't there be, right? So we're going to wake up the whole crowd here from all the way at the start. And is that really it? That's never it. Uh-oh. Whoa! What in the world? Something exploded over there. What just happened? Look at all the zombies! What the heck? Was that a vehicle? Did a zombie spawn in and blow up a vehicle? That's, that's definitely, I think, something that they completely set up. Sweet! I'm not hearing any dogs or anything, so that's like, oh my god, look at this. They have a burn zombie coming out of there. That's... Oh, oh that's not cool. Uh, that's all sorts of epic. I love that little detail. That was, that was pretty damn awesome. So next time I, I get this place, uh, what I'm going to do, whoa, is get away from these guys, first of all, is go in to the front so we can see exactly what explodes there because that was pretty well done, in my uh, honest opinion. Holy crap, the spider is going to be giving us a hard time here. It's almost like having a wandering horde. But from a POI, oh, geez. Oh, jeez. Okay, we're okay. We only have a couple more here standing. This big old lumberjack guy just one shot him with a pipe baton. How do you feel about that? He probably spent so much time working out. Then I come along with my uh, base game pipe baton and smash open your head. Oh, he's, this guy's not dead. There we go. Perfect. All right. And it looks like we may have one more right here. Let's see if this POI spawns them all in at once i doubt it i highly doubt this is everything yeah it definitely isn't looks like there is some more spawns here in uh, in the shed oh 
And this one may be a restore the electricity quest too. That's pretty neat. Out in the open? That's really cool. Yeah, no. What am I going to do? I'm going to give this uh, bus a scrap down here. This may take a moment. While I'm breaking this down here, I just want to give a shout out to my most recent members here who got a ball beside their name. If you'd like a link to do that, guys, it's down in the top pinned comment. Uh, we got Calhea, thank you very much. Uh, uh, Botzi, Body Zatu, I don't know how to say your name. Sorry, Alex. <laughs> Uh, we have G Raider, G E E, uh, Cody Halcombe, a long term uh, community member, and John Urban. Thank you very much, guys, for your support. Greatly appreciated. Okay. Well, did we even get it? Oh, we did get an engine out of the deal. Perfect. That was worth it then. Uh, as if these places here don't have anything spawning in them. There we go. Let's open this up. All right. Well, I'll check all the junk loot in here. Got ourselves a pile of books with the baseball bat schematic, which we also know. Uh, do these chests? Ooh, they do. They do provide things. Looks like all junk stuff, but whatever. Oh, hey, these things right here, good source of electric parts. All right, I'm going to go ahead and check these other ones. Whoa. Oh, it's right here. Got him. We're good. Of course that one spawned in a dog. <laughs> All right, let's try this one over here. Hmm. A log door, you do say? Well, let's fix that. And uh, looks like there's nothing in here. Oh, well. I'll clear out the loot in these rooms, guys. All right, well, that was all pretty basic stuff, but I'm going to assume that that's not the only dog we're going to run into here. These farms like to have dogs. See look, those things over there? I know those are chicken coops, but they scream dog to me. Let's head over this way. Is it going to spawn? Oh. Oh, no. It's going to spawn in an angry pig on us. That's okay. That's some bacon right there, and that's actually real bacon. Ooh, there's some nest in there, too. Okay, so we only got one last place here to check out, and that is uh, the main structure here. Our <laughs> oh, nice. There's a oh, nope, that's not gonna stop anything. I can assume there's gonna be a few zombies or a few animals in here. Let's run through. Ooh, okay, well, that wasn't too bad. Nothing spawned in, really. <laughs> okay, so we need to figure out how to get up there. Hmm, so I'm assuming this silo here has something to do with... Oh, there we go. There's a ladder right on the outside of it. That was nice and easy. We'll get our way up to the top. And we can't close that. It's locked. Looks like there might be something on top of this place, too. I wonder if we can get up there. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at you, bird. Today is not your day. Maybe it is. I forgot to reload. There we go. Well, oh, damn. Look, ow, as if you just sniped me like that. Jeez, that is deadly. Okay, where are you, boss? Hmm. Okay, well, while he's in there banging away at everything, I'm gonna go ahead and crack this open, see what we got in our sealed shipping crate. Ooh, that's nice, a hidden stash. Got ourselves some ammos here. We're not gonna, yeah, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna take this stuff, why not? We're already overburdened and everything already. Not the best, but hey. Uh, so I would assume, oh no, oh no, I almost fell. Okay, so that is definitely the way to get up here. So I wanna keep him away from the goodies but be able to still hit this guy in the nogs. Okay, he's, he's dead. He's down. We got him. And it looks to be uh, maybe one more zombie kicking around. Hmm. It's uh, going to lighten my load here a bit, I think. Okay, and one more zombie kicking around down here. Where's she at? Oh, probably fell through all the way to the bottom. So we'll ignore her. We'll get her on our way out here. Let's go ahead, search that ammo pile. 
Hmm, disappointing once again. Medical supplies. Hmm, kind of disappointing once again. And we got a weapons bag. Let's check that out. We got three handgun parts. That's good. We can make ourselves some turrets soon. And a barbed wire mod. Oh, it can only be installed in clubs. Damn it. There's not too many, like, mods, actually. Four batons. Get those uh, cracked open. These are just shamway boxes. Food is always good. More food is always good. And hey, look, we got ourselves another egg, guys. I'll probably forget to throw that on the egg counter, but uh, whatever. Ooh, four mushrooms, soup, and we got ourselves a reinforced chest, which I'm going to break open. There we go. We got our reinforced chest open. And now that we got a pipe bomb schematic, <laughs> level six uh, scrap chest armor and some ammo. Oh, well, you know what? Money's money, guys. Okay, let's drop down here and hopefully not to break a leg like I did at my base. Take care of this last hungry, hungry lady here. There we go. And we are done the quest. Trader's right next to us. Nice and easy. And then uh, <laughs> we'll have to get home with all of our booty here. There's a lot of stuff. Hey, what is up, Trader Rex? So this time around, he has antibiotics, needle and thread volume three. This is to make shoes. I don't really need it. It'd be nicer to find. Or a machete. A machete is a really nice weapon as well, but we're not really uh, specking it. I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, two antibiotics this time around. And oh no. Do we not have any room in our inventory? We did not, because I also got some Duke's Casino tokens. Uh, so let's go ahead here. I'm going to sell off a few things. We're going to make some quick room here. Well, and we will buy. pick up the antibiotics. There we go. Hate having to always make those choices. So I don't know, guys. Is a Tier 3 digging quest still a thing? I haven't seen one come up yet. I don't know if it's our luck or whatever, but jeez. All right, there we go. So I sold off what I think is uh, most of my junk here. We'll see how much that sells for 177 May as well. Let's go and take a look because today was restock day. See if he has anything in here for us. We have a four by four chassis. Don't really need it. Wow, look how much the mini bike handlebars sell for. That's insane. Okay, looking through here, he doesn't really have anything that I think I need. He does have an iron crossbow, but whoa. AK-47 machine gun. Damn, the base on that is 42.2. And this is 45.6 with two mods in it. Oh, guys. Yeah. Oh, wait. Do we have the money? We do. You know what? Bought. Sweet. We finally, finally can upgrade out of our pipe machine gun here. The last pipe thing we're going to have is our pipe baton. And we only actually need two pipe baton parts or uh, pipe. Oh my god. Uh, baton parts, which he has none of. Oh, shoot. That would have been super lucky. Okay, oh, damn, awesome. We're going to raid this thing it. here for a little bit more food because it's probably reset too. Oh, sick. Look at all the food in here. We're coming back with tons of food today. Bringing home the bacon and eggs, this guy is. Well, guys, just looking at the time here, we have actually ran up on about almost two hours for this recording, which is absolutely absurd. I haven't uh, done a recording this long in a while. So I do hope you guys do enjoy the effort. If you do, let me know down in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Stay classy.